Hi, I am Mimi Capra and I am doing Project D. Let's head to the kitchen. Are we starting? Let's go. We're starting. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to start putting things on the cabinet. You're gonna push that to start it. This? Nope. A little higher. No, no, no. You're gonna go towards the big knob again and down. There it is. That's it? Push it and you'll hear it start. Wait for it, you'll hear it. small so be be sensitive so you don't knock it down so you're gonna go to your with your right hand just go forward you'll, you'll feel the little soap dispenser
I can't hear anything. We have to just feel for when it's going to be full. Oh yeah, there's stuff in there. Yeah, it looks like it's going in. Are you squeezing? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Full enough? No, it's like halfway full, but that's good. So you need it all the way full? You can, well, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, way better. All right. The top needs it, the very top. You're almost at the edge of that counter. All right, there you go. Soap is full. So why don't we put it, it goes normally on the right side of the sink. And then now the big soap dispenser that needs to maybe Whoa. be wiped a little bit with that paper towel that you just dropped on the top. See, it's a little soapy. What do you say we go get some coffee? Let's go. Reach all the way out, maybe. Okay. That's, that's one of yours. Here's a straw. Yeah. Thank you. That's so Just wait, wait for your other ones. I can't do all three. No. Well, 
Whose is this? Mark? Are you going to hand that one off or no? All right, the kinds of training I would need to success successfully adapt to this disability is definitely knowing how to use a walking stick, how to read braille, how to use my senses more, especially touching and hearing. Um, also, just to be comfortable in the environment I'm in, the new space I'm in, to be aware of my surroundings would definitely help so I obviously don't know what happened at Starbucks, but from what my sister said, um, when I ordered, I gave them my card and I didn't really know, of course, where the buddy says hands what, uh, were. So I kind of just put it in the air and hopefully he would know to take it. So he did. And then my guide told me, um, like she guided my hands to get it back so I could get my card back. And then when our drinks were ready, or actually before that, when we went to go sit down, my sister told me that two gentlemen um, gave us their stools and I had no idea, so I didn't even thank them. So you, someone could be doing a kind act for you and you just have no idea. And then when our drinks were ready, we had three drinks. So our first drink, my sister said, it's, they, they said my name and she said it's on the counter, so I felt, but I couldn't feel anything. And then the police that kind of saw me struggling, so she pushed it a little and then I felt it. I had one drink and then she said my name again. So I felt it and then instead of me feeling by the time I was ready to fill, she kind of slid it towards me and then I put my hand out and it was right there. And then by the time it was in me, um, the straw, just this part was covered with the wrap and then she literally had the straw ready in the cup and she slid it right into my hand. So by the third drink, I think she realized that I was having tr uh, trouble and difficulty and she helped me to the best of her ability. So I was comfortable. I did this project at my sister's house, which I'm not as familiar with the surroundings as my house. So at first, walking through was really hard because I could like feel the walls, but I didn't know what was coming up and exactly how far I had to go to. So after about the third or fourth time, I was getting more comfortable with it and adapting more to my surroundings, but it does take that time. So that mm, the most valuable lesson I learned in this project is definitely advocating for yourself, speaking to people. Um, if I wasn't with my guide at Starbucks, I think I would have definitely had to tell the people like, I'm blind. Um, if you see me by the checkout, like let me know, like my, bring my drinks to me. I would have had to definitely tell them that. But since I was with someone, it was easier for me. I went to Starbucks for the community place and there wasn't really any accessibility problems. Just um, chairs that I had to look out for and tables, but with the help of my guide, she was directing me. And the counters were easily touchable, so I knew where like the wall was and everything, so that was helpful. I would adapt my home environment to adding more railings, and I thought it would be a great idea if I could put uh, sensory um, sounds, so when I leave a room, there would be a sound to come on or something that lets me know I'm in a different location. But having walls to touch and railings would be the best help for me because once I started going back and forth, like as I was touching, I was like, oh, I'm coming to the end of the wall. So that was helpful. I think it would be really hard to live independently with this disability, but with those accommodations in the house, it would be a lot better.